Hi guys, it's Angeli. How's everybody doing today? Well, today is a beautiful, warmer January the 7th. <laughs> it is absolutely gorgeous out here today. I tell you what, I'll take this every day in January. And from the way they're talking, I think we're going to have a January where it's going to be warmer than usual. And I'll take it. <laughs> even I think they said even in February, which we'll see about that, but I'll take it. Sun's been shining and it's just been nice and I'm not having to wear my jacket out here. But anyway, I want to get up here and show you guys some things that I got done. And it's some Valentine things. Not very many, but I want to share with you what I got. But my chickens are over here. <laughs> I want to make sure they're uh, behaving. I got to keep an eye on them because I got my red out front. And I got to kind of keep them separate. So, But hubby's over there. He's in the shop right now. You might hear him in the background working on another birdhouse. He's, he's whipping those birdhouses left and right. <laughs> But anyway, he's doing that, and you're you're going to hear noises in the background. I hear somebody way off shooting a gun, and, and then, of course, everything else, my dogs and everything. So, But anyway, I wanted to get up here and show you guys some of my uh, Valentine things that I got finished. And I'm so excited about it, and one of them I am really super excited because I've been wanting to make um, a couple of these. One for me and one for my daughter, and then... But anyway, I ended up, I got it done. I was wanting to get up there, up here yesterday and show you how far I have gotten on it. But then last night I sat there and I thought, you know, I don't like a whole lot on it. I like the bottom row. It's a blanket. I like the bottom row and then sewing it together, you know, or, you know, crocheting it together and then, you know, adding it to the blanket and then doing the, the rough, the border around it. Can't think of it. And so I sat there and I thought, you know what, let's just get it done and then I'll, come up here whenever I'm done with it and so I finally got it finished and I'm excited to show you guys every time I look at it I, it just makes me happy 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 <laughs> as Cy Robertson would say happy 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 <laughs> but anyway now the first ones I'm going to show you I've still got several more to go with this one but I've got two of them finished right now and it is a pattern by Olive of Stringy Ding Ding and she's got the cutest patterns and and I've seen this one last year I believe but I never got around to making any of them. And so, but this year I thought I am making some because it brought back so many memories for me whenever I seen it. You know, back in the day, whenever I was a kid in school, you know, kindergarten, well, was kindergarten or first grade? I don't remember. First grade, maybe second grade. I remember, you know, you do the Valentine uh, parties and stuff. And I remember we would take these brown paper bags or the white ones and you would, uh, draw on them color on them you know pictures and stuff and then you could add hearts to it cut the little hearts out and stuff like that and gosh it just brought back so many memories when i seen this and i remember getting um, these and there would be a sucker that would be stuck down in it so i knew as soon as i seen it i had to make some and so here it is <laughs> aren't these the cutest now these are called let me get my notes here uh, candy bags and these are by uh, all of us stringy ding ding and I'll put links down to everything that I talk about down below in the description box but these are just the sweetest things and I had to make them and so I'm going to have different color hearts on the front of them because these are going to my grandkids that way they can uh, they'll know whose is whose <laughs> and uh, and so anyway I ended up uh, let's see I used a four millimeter hook and all the yarn that I used is mostly mainstay yarn, except for the pink is Red Heart Super Saver. And I think it's, I forgot to look, but I think it's called Light Pink. And, um, and then this purple is that Premier yarn that I got from the Dollar Tree. But the rest of it's going to be, if I remember right, it's all going to be like mainstay that I have. But I just, I had to make these. These are just the cutest thing. But like I said, I remember when I was a kid, you know, having just the, fur, the front part and there would be a sucker stuck down in it and I just thought oh that's perfect so it brings back lots of memories and um, real easy to make um, really super easy to make now I what I did I cheated <laughs> I uh, I didn't want to do the sewing so I got my old hot glue gun out and I hot glued the heart on and the eyes and the nose on and it worked out really great um, what I did was, I should have done it before I, well, it didn't hurt nothing, 
but the next ones I will. I'm going to hot glue. I'm going to make the heart first and do the eyes first, and then I'm going to hot glue them on before I sew the bodies on together because you, you'll you sew the bodies together first, and then you'll add all this. But I want to do, uh, I'm wanting to hot, you know, do that first. And so what I did was I just stuck a, um, got to make sure I know where my critters are. Hold on a second. All right, they're Northway. <laughs> but anyway, um, I stuck a piece of paper down in there, or cardboard, because I didn't want to, you know, being that they were already together, and I put that hot glue, I thought, boy, how do you, that would really, that, that'd be really sad if that stuck together. But then I thought, well, if it did, I'll just hang it up in my craft room on my uh, shelves that I finally got put up. And so, <laughs> anyway, so it worked out really great, and it was a lot faster, too. And so, and then he's got his little safety eyes, and just so cute. I love this. And then you take the yarn here when you make the handle, and you're going to hold two strands together, and you're going to hook it here, and then uh, do so many chains, and then hook it back over here. But it was really easy pattern to, to uh, follow. So I'm going to be making some more of these, and I just love them. So much fun. But the cute little treat bag, you know, stick you some candy down in there, and some suckers, and can always stick money down in there if you, you know, just want to give it to somebody like, you know, that didn't eat candy. You wanted to give them a little treat, you can stick you some money down in there, I guess. <laughs> anything. You can put a card down in there or anything like that. You can put stitch markers down in there if you wanted to give somebody one that crocheted and stuck some stuff like that down in there. Just so cute. But anyway, I'll put links down below and i'll put a link to this pattern if you guys want to make you guys some treat bags like this to olive's pattern she does she has the cutest patterns she's one of my favorite designers and i love her patterns so much but that's what i got done there okay now the next one i've got here is a free pattern that i i got up there on the internet and i was wanting to look for you know some crochet hearts to make and i'm actually wanting to make a um I keep wanting to say a border, but it's garland <laughs> to hang up in my craft room because I finally got my shelves up. Hubby was heading to play golf. I think it was yesterday. can't remember, but I grabbed him for a few minutes and said, hey, can you just take five minutes out to help me get my shelves up? <laughs> and so I've had those shelves for what? Since June, I think, or I don't even know. And I, I told him, I said, I really like to get them up on my wall. So we finally got them up, and now they're bare, and I'm wanting to make some things to hang on them because I've only got one Valentine thing that's crocheted to put in my room. Now, I got a, some more things that my friend Ann gave me uh, in a, some Happy Mail. I think it was last year. That sounds funny because last year was just the other day. <laughs> but anyway, uh, and I've got a couple of them in there, but I'm wanting to hang some crochet stuff up in there, and so right now they're bare, and I wanted to get some uh, garland going. So I ran across this pattern, and I just thought it was the prettiest heart, and it just looked vintage to me. And the colors that she did hers in are really pretty. I want to do something like that, too. So, but anyway, it is called the Granny Sweet Granny Sweetheart, and it's by Nancy Drew. <laughs> and it, here it is. Isn't that cute? Oh, I just love this so much. Now... I used a four, four millimeter hook to make this. And all this is, is um, scrap yarn that I had left over. A lot of it from whenever I was making my scrappy blanket. And I do, I just love this. And so what I'm thinking about doing is I'm wanting to turn this into a garland, but I'm wanting to also find different heart shapes and different patterns to, to hang with it is what I'm kind of thinking. Either do a different one every other one or maybe just go through the whole thing and do different ones i don't know i haven't decided yet but i just loved this so much and it was so easy to do and i loved border around it it was really simple i think it was like a chain three and then just single crochet and then you skip a stitch but it just makes a really pretty border around that but I'm, i had so much fun making this and i just sat there one evening and before i wor was working on this uh my blanket and whipped it right up and like i said really easy now i haven't looked to see what other patterns she's got up there but it was just someone i happened to run across and uh i'll put a link down below if you guys want to make you some hearts now this one i've got laying down on my table in my craft room and uh next to a real cute ceramic um 
piece that I found at an antique store that I'm going to show you guys. I might have showed it last year. I can't remember, but I found it at an antique store, my favorite antique store that I go to. And, uh, yeah, I love that piece so much. But I just think it's so pretty. So it would be really cute. Even if you just made it for a doily, just to hang on, put on your table, set you a candle on it, or just, you can actually just, if you can figure out how just to stick them to the wall, I guess you could put tape, but I don't want to. <laughs> be afraid to do something to it. Or put you a little hook or something up there. I don't know. But I'm going to hang, I'm going to do mine like garland and hang it up there. So I think that's so pretty. But yeah. And like I said, it's just all, it's uh, medium weight for, yeah, medium weight. Worsted weight yarn is what I use for it. So anyway, that's what I have there. I'm going to have to pause you just for a second. Okay, I'm back. Going to be lots of pauses in this one, but you know, you'd never know unless, until I say something. <laughs> but I didn't know where they were, my chickens, because I thought, did they sneak around there? But then I went around and they're just right over there. Of course, you can hear him. They're being, they're being nicer right now. They haven't done any more flogging since the other day. I had a little chat with them. <laughs> And but I know that's that's going to be short lived because I'm sure there'll be a day whenever I go in there and they're going to get me again. But yeah, I don't know why they did that. But oh well, I'm just thankful they still ain't got their long talons. You hear you probably hear my my Miss Piggles. She's over here to the right. She's my little uh, a little pot belly pig that um, adopted us. <laughs> and that's not so little. <laughs> But anyway, okay, now this next one I'm going to share with you guys. Oh my goodness, I am so excited to show you guys. I love it so much. Um, uh, I don't know if I might have already mentioned it. I can't even remember. But um, I have been wanting to make um, one, a, a, a Valentine blanket. I can't even get it out. I've got one blanket in there that's in like pink and I can't even remember. Is it pink and white and red? I, th I think I made it last year and I think it's the Chevron's stitch if I remember right now I think it was Jada's pattern and uh, that's the only one that I have but I've been wanting to make something different and so anyway I'd already made my mind up that I wanted to make one a blanket for me and a blanket and I hope she's not watching she says she doesn't watch <laughs> so if you're watching you need to you need to look the other way or you need to you might need to click off <laughs> uh, because uh, this is for you <laughs> but anyway I was wanting to make one for me and one for my daughter and surprise her with this because she absolutely loves Valentine's. And so I thought I would surprise her with it. And I got started on this, but I was doing hers in different colors and then I, than what I was doing mine in. But the more I kept working on mine, I kept thinking, you know, I know what's going to happen. She's going to steal mine because <laughs> me and her like... We have the same, basically the same taste on everything. What she likes, I like, and same with me. Because like whenever I go somewhere and I go to uh, antique stores and something, and if I see something that I know that she'll like, I'll get it for her. And, you know, vice versa, whatever. And so anyway, I had already made up a bunch of these squares in the colors that I was doing for her, which was just a traditional pink, red, and white. But I'm doing mine different, and you guys know how I love Scrappy. And like I said, the more I kept looking at it, the more and more I knew I'm just going to have to do two like this one. <laughs> but I'm glad I went ahead and done a bunch like that I was doing what I thought was going to be for her in the beginning. Because it saved me some time, I guess. That's how I look at it. <laughs> and I still got several more left that I can throw into another one. Because I'm actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to give her this one. That way she can have time to enjoy it before Valentine's gets here. So I'm going to pause you again, and I'm going to stand up, and I'm going to show you what it is. Now, before I do that, I, I, I'm going to tell you it's a pattern by Jada and Stitches, and it is called, let me find my notes here, it is called the Heart at the Center Granny Square. Now, this is a pattern, oh, I think she came out with this, it was either three or five years ago, I can't remember. But anyway, she came out with this, and it's a baby blanket. She's got two videos. She shows you how to make it. And then the other one, she shows you how to put the squares together and put a border around it. But I, I did a different border for mine. But I knew as soon as I seen it, I knew that was exactly what I was looking for. Because I just wanted something simple. Uh, nothing big and fancy. Just a simple 
blanket because I had intentions on how I wanted to do this. And I wanted it to look vintage because you guys know I'm all about the vintage thing. And so I wanted to try to pull colors in that kind of went along with those uh, heart candies. You know, those hard ones that you get all different colors, yellow, purple. I can't even, they got the sands on them. And uh, so anyway, I kind of threw a little bit of that in there with it. I didn't put sands, but I just put different colors and stuff. So I'm going to pause you again and I'm going to stand up and I'm going to show you what I got. That way I won't trip and fall. <laughs> okay, guys. Here it is. Oh, my goodness. I love this blanket so, so much. And hubby does, too. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can get it all in there. I think I did. But I had so much fun making this blanket. And I just love it. It just puts the biggest smile on my face every time I look at it. And I'm just happy as can be. Whenever I see this blanket. Now I'm going to see if I can. I don't want it to hit the ground. Because it sounds dirty. <laughs> got lots of pine needles and leaves. And and I got critters. So, But anyway. Um, I wanted to make something. That just to me that looked vintage. And so I took all. Of the yarn that I had. That was scraps. And then I ended up going, I, I had to go get me a couple more skeins of this one here, of that colorway. This this is a uh, mainstay, and I believe it's a multi, they called it, was it multi-purple? Because it's got the purple in it. And then I got, I think it was this one, it's that multi-pink, and it's mainstay. But I did a variety of the Premier yarn that you get from the Dollar Tree, and then um, Red Heart Super Saver, which... That's what this is. And then there was another pink. I didn't realize it because the whole time I kept thinking, you know, it was all red heart pink. But evidently some of that pink was um, either a pink that the mainstay came out with that they don't make it anymore, a real light colored pink, or it was a Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. I just don't know. But whenever I set the squares down, I noticed there was a difference between this pink I don't know if that's it or not, but there was a difference. <laughs> and so I was like, oh no. But it didn't matter because after a while I thought it doesn't matter because this is all scrappy. So anyway, um, I don't believe there's any Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn in here. It's all mostly Mainstay and Red Heart and Premier. But I love this blanket so much. And I had so much fun making it. But I, like I said, I wanted to put the different color hearts in here that, that reminded me of that hard candy that's got the sands on it. And uh, I just wanted to make it vintage looking. And I love putting gray in with it. It's one of my colors I love for like Valentine's. And uh, now the border, how I did it. Who did I? What is her channel name? Tiffany. Oh, I can't even think of her channel name, but I'll put a link down below. She has a video where she shows you how to do different join methods. And this one was the single crochet, but I'd never seen it before. Instead of going through the whole stitch, you go like in the back loop of the stitch. When you butt up your um, squares together, you go in the back loop of the first one and the front loop of the other one, and you do single crochet. And then it makes it look like see if I can find it see if I can find one here that you can see it well that's basically what the back of it looks like right there and I just thought it was so pretty and I never seen it before but she's got like I think seven different ways you can join squares or something like that but anyway I'll put a link down below uh, where you guys can go check it out I cannot think of her uh, I, I, I don't know. I can't remember. But anyway, I know her name's Tiffany. <laughs> but I, that's what I did to join it with. Now, the colorway I used is that there is a bug flying around. You would think they wouldn't be out this time of year, but they are. But anyway, uh, the yarn that I used is that Red Heart Super Saver. It's block something, and it's that Iris Bo Bouquet or Boutique. Iris Boutique, I believe. It's got just multi-colors of purple all through it. And I had bought it because my intentions were, was to make a scarf that they have on the label. There's a pattern on there. Color block or something like that. 
but the more I kept looking at it, I thought, man, that'd be perfect to join them with. And so that's what I did. You can see the different purples in there where I joined it. At least I think you can. Like right here, it's a little lighter. I'm trying not to get it on the picnic table because it's a little dirty. But you can see it right here. And so that's what I did to join it with. Well, then I got to thinking, I thought I would go around it on the border. Well, the more I kept thinking about it last night, because I, I put it all together last night, I uh, I didn't really want to do it in that color. I wanted to do something that would just kind of bring it more together and a solid color. And I wanted something that was kind of lacy-like, you know, that looked, you know, like a, a frill or something, you know, lacy. Like some of those uh, hearts that, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, those paper hearts that you get at Walmart that are solid colors. And then on the outside, it's got the lace-like. That's what I kind of wanted. And so I decided to go around it and do a scallop-like edge. Now, I watched a video on how she done it, and she was saying that you have to have a certain number to be able to, I guess, for it to come out even whenever you come to your corners. Well, I'm one of those ones, I fly by the seat of my pants, it doesn't matter. <laughs> and so I, I wasn't worried about it because I knew I could fudge it. And so I got up there, and I'll put a link down below who it was I watched that showed how to do it. I cannot, I don't remember what her name was, but anyway, it was real easy. It was like nine double crochet in the corners and then down the sides was just seven double crochet and then you would uh, skip, you know, where you done the chain one in the middle when you done the granny stitch and then you would just uh, single crochet in between there and do your seven uh, double crochet and then your single crochet. And I love how it turned out. And that's, I knew whenever I started working on it and doing it like that, that was exactly what I wanted. Just something to make it look like, um, oh, <laughs> like a, uh, oh, a lace around it. Now the one that Jada did around her, her border, she put uh, the granny stitch and I started doing it and I thought, nope, that's not what I'm looking for. I want something just to make it look vintage, more like the old timey lot valentine cards and you know hearts and stuff i hope i'm making sense <laughs> now i don't know if i said but i'm using i used a um, five and a half millimeter hook and now she does have tutorials this is a jaden stitches if i didn't say that already i probably did but i don't remember but she has a tutorial on how you can make it and how you can join it and all that kind of stuff and uh but i just i just had so much fun making this i didn't want to stop and, and I started this, actually, I believe on New Year's Eve. And like I said, I was making it for me, but the more I kept staring at it, I thought, my daughter's going to steal this. <laughs> and so I thought, I'm making the first one for her, and then I'm going to be making one for me. But what's so funny about this is whenever I went to uh, Walmart, there is a girl that works there that I'm friends with, and I actually went to school with her mother. And she's always, if I see her there, I'll always go to wherever she's at on you know those I like going to the self checkouts and so she's usually over there and I I walked over and she's always asking me what are you working on today or what have you been working on and I showed her a picture of this blanket and she absolutely loved it she just she did and and you know and whenever somebody says something about you know whenever you work on something you, you know it makes you feel good and it just you know it it does and it puts a heart a smile on your heart and everything and and I just thought it was so sweet. And she kept, you know, talking. And so I just th I just sat there and I was checking out. And I just kind of looked, turned around looked at her. I said, I'll make you one. I will. I'll make you one. And she was like, what? And I said, I will make you a blanket like this. So now I wish I would have just not said nothing and surprised her. But she's excited about it. I'm excited about it. And But I did tell her, I said, I don't know if I'll be able to get it done by this Valentine's because there's so much more I'm wanting to make. But I told her, I said, I, you'll get one this year. I'll surprise you with it. So <laughs> I am going to be making two more of these. <laughs> so, but I wanted to get this one done first for my kiddo. But me, I can put myself out there on the back burner and do one eventually. I can actually probably do a couple of, couple of squares a night and then, uh, you know, eventually get it together because I do want to get um, my friend's blanket done first and then I'll work on me one because I'm actually started on another one not one like this but another one today um, 
yeah, that's a funny one too. I got to tell you about, but I'm going to tell you about it tomorrow because I got one square done on it and it's, it's not going to be like this one. It's a different one because if I work on something one right after another, I'll get burnt out and I don't want to get burnt out. So I decided I'm going to do this one. And then the other one, I uh, found it, oh, probably a couple of weeks ago. And so, of course, I bookmarked it. And I actually had like three or four others I had bookmarked. And I asked my hubby, I said, which one of these do you think would be a cool one to make next? And he went right straight to that one. And then the one I did too, because to me it looks vintage. And so I, I actually started on one block of it today. But I'm wanting to get a couple more done of the other colors that I'm wanting to put with it. I'm going to try tonight. And then I'm hoping maybe I can get up here. Um, sorry about the noise in the background. <laughs> Somebody's having some fun target practicing. <laughs> um, I'm going to try to get up here tomorrow and show you uh, what I'm talking about. But I'm so excited about it. It is. It's going to be fun. I'm having so much fun doing this. But when I was working on this one, you know, I'd have it all laid out on the floor. And hubby, you know, he'll, he'll comment on some of the things that I'm working on. But when I walked, when he walked by and he seen this one on the floor, he went, wow he said that's a really pretty that's a pretty blanket and i said you like that he goes yeah that's that's nice <laughs> so i thought that's exactly what i wanted to do is make something that i knew i figured my my uh, kiddo is gonna love so but anyway and i'm hoping she's not watching <laughs> this is gonna be a gift to her and she has no clue that i'm making this because i'm wanting to surprise her and give it to her that way she can enjoy it from between now and Valentine's and do that so but anyway and I don't know I might have already said it I can't remember what I say sometimes that's what happens when you have a uh, sleep apnea you kind of <laughs> it kind of does something to your memory sometimes you kind of forget what you what you talk about but anyway I'm using all worsted weight medium weight for yarn so pretty but I'll put links down below where you guys can go check it out and she does have a paid for pattern for this Jada does but I absolutely love watching the tutorials <laughs> I feel like they're keeping me company whenever I'm working on it I just I don't know I just like that <laughs> but anyway I see my chickens coming up here I, I tell you what yeah um, after that day it makes me feel kind of leery <laughs> I mean I had to get the coop yesterday I think it was and usually I'll, I'll I'll stick, I'll take their food outside the coop and leave it on the outside. And then in, in the evening, whenever I go to put them up in the coop before I go to bed, I'll put the food back inside the coop. Well, I forgot to put their food up while they were in there and we were trying to get them in. And so I stepped in Well, one of the roosters ran into the coop and I just kind of froze. And I thought, oh, this is great. I'm cornered here in the coop and here he comes. But he didn't do nothing. He just came over to my feet, walked over the top of my feet and went around to the back and all of that. So I thought. Whew. <laughs> that wouldn't have been a fun sight. It wouldn't have been fun at all, but they're being pretty good right now. I don't know what their deal was that day, but I, I know I can expect that because they're roosters and they're just protecting their girlfriends and they're they're they make really good, you know, I guess you could say watch chickens <laughs> instead of watchdogs. But anyway. Well, I guess I'm going to hop off here. I'm, I would say go get my walk, but I've already gotten my walk. But i still got a few other things. I might actually go in there. It might be time for me to feed my pig over there. But I'm, um, I'm actually anxious to get in there and work on that blanket. <laughs> the other one. Yeah, I'm wanting that. But I also have an amigurumi started that I need to work on. I've, I've got the head done on it, but that's as far as I got. But I wanted to get that blanket done because I'm anxious to give it to my kid. And I keep seeing a bug fly around. You would think this time of year there wouldn't be that many, but here in Arkansas, you never know. Um, one day it can be in the in the 80s, and the next day it can be in the 40s and 50s. And I'm excited about them saying, and I hope they're right, because you know how it is. You can you can't predict the weather, but they're saying that we're having uh, warmer than normal temperatures for January. And possibly February so you know what I'll take it because I love being outside I mean there's not really a whole lot I can do I could rake the leaves I guess but I don't really like raking them this time of year I just kind of wait because I've got tons and tons you see all those pine needles back there I've got 
as much uh, lee oak leaves and stuff like that over there I got to get out because around here when you walk through those pines back there you really got to watch where you're walking because you those um, copperheads they blend in real well with those pine needles and leaves and stuff so you really got to be careful when you walk back in through there <laughs> and uh, so that's why I like to rake all the leaves away that way I can see where I'm walking when I'm messing in my flower beds because I have a couple of times picked up uh, a couple of snakes not intentionally but cleaning out my flower beds and then picked up one and it, a couple of more copperheads <laughs> not here but at another place that I was living and so but anyway yeah that wasn't fun at all that, that gets scary <laughs> but anyhow I guess I'm gonna hop off here because they're back behind me now you can see him right there he peered his little head up there <laughs> Anyway, wow, 30 minutes. I've been up here chatting with you guys for 30 minutes, but I miss doing my videos every day. I was having so much fun doing one every day, and I kind of want to get up here sometimes and do it every day now, too, but then I get busy, and and things happen, and I don't get around to it, so I'll try to get up here more than what I usually do and uh, chat with you guys, but anyhow, I guess I'm going to hop off here, and maybe, hopefully, I can come up here tomorrow and show you the other blanket that... Uh, that I'm working on. I'm so excited about it. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys all have a wonderful, blessed evening, and uh, I'll be chatting to you guys real soon.